We've tracked down a game developer making some serious, serious waves. And yep, he's still in school. Game over. Well, it seems like some serious game changes are coming out of Potch and more particularly out of the comfort of their own bedroom. I'm with Kovis von der Vault, game developer. You're causing some serious movements out there. So how did this all get started? So uh, I started making games when I was 15. Before that, I started learning to program when I was about 13. And before that, I just started building stuff. Um, I remember I had this little like painted block set. And then I used to build like these various buildings. From there, I started building like robots and little other creepy weird stuff. But eventually I got fed up with like the materials. I couldn't find the materials. They kept on breaking or I just couldn't find the parts I needed. I discovered programming. And programming seemed perfect because all you needed was your hands. So um, I started programming and eventually I found games. So. Well, now speaking of blocks, your game that's been making some serious waves is Cluster and it's very funky looking. So I can definitely tell that the inspiration for blocks <laughs> has been thrown in there. Tell me more about this game. So Cluster is a game which is really, really difficult. Our tagline is, uh, in Cluster you will experience finger bleeding difficulty while you're trying to dodge, smash and curse at blocks in the game. Woo, that's a so, mouthful. It's really, it's really difficult. <laughs> uh, you only have two inputs, uh, left and right, and when you hold both down, the character you're playing goes really fast and decides to smash blocks. Right. So I can, I can show you, like, this is the first level, and it's really easy compared to the later levels. Mm -hmm. But still very hard. And how does the game sort of evolve? You know, what do you get out of playing Cluster? So, you get better at the game. Like at first, you're like you you're really bad. You don't get scores of above ten, and then later on, you get really really good, which is something I find special. Like the ability to get good at a skill. You're you're not getting rewarded for like just playing and just clicking stuff. You actually have to work hard to get better. I died, <laughs> but you you you're getting better at the game. And then later on, if you get a hundred in in a level, you unlock another level, which is even more difficult. But once you beat a level, it feels good. So it's like a, a satisfaction okay. thing. Kovis, you have strong opinions about paid for games versus free games. And Cluster is actually a free game. Why do you feel so strongly about this? Cluster is a free game because I need feedback from, from people in order to get better at game design. I'm still new at game design. I haven't designed a lot of games. This is my first release that people can actually play. And so I felt like if I made it free, free more people can, can get their hands on the game and more people can give me feedback. And the, the, the paid for games thing, I feel like free to play games, they, they're messing with their players. Like there used to be a time where, where games really tried hard to impress their players. But these days, it feels more like they are just milking you for every cent they can. Mm. Like if you go on Android and you look at the top uh, free games, it's not really free games. It's in-app purchases. And you have to, once you download the game, you have to keep paying, paying, paying in order to play the game mm. and enjoy it. And it's, it feels wrong to me. I don't think it's, it's the right way to do it. I would rather pay uh, 200, 300 Rand up front and have the game for myself and enjoy it to the fullest like I can. So what I gather is that you're saying paying for a game creates some kind of expectation from a game developer's point of view. But now you are actually crossing over to the dark side because one of your other games, Montez, is actually going to be a paid for game. It is going to be a paid for game, but <laughs> it's, it's different. It's not in our purchases. It's going to be you give me the money, I take it, I give you the game, you can enjoy the game when you want, how you want, in, in your own way. I'm not going to keep bothering you in the game with like a little message that says you can get like 44 extra coins if you just give me 100 more rand. I'm not going to do that. The game is yours once you pay me. A little birdie told me that you're also developing an app for dyslexic kids. I had a friend that wanted to enter the like the ESCOM expo thing and I'm the programmer and she is like the manager sort of. She's uh, giving me the research and stuff I need to make this program and we started developing this uh, program and then eventually uh, another like a professor 
contacted us and she is interested in buying the thing. So now I'm developing the, the program for that professor. Well, Rage is one of the biggest gaming festivals and you were part of it last year and this year. Yeah, Montez has been there last year, uh, which was sponsored by Celestial Games, the partner on Montez. The response there was, was really good. We um, got some time with players to see what they think about the game. And overall, I think they like the game. We do have some stuff we need to work on um, to improve the game a bit more. But this year, I'm, I'm looking to take Cluster there. It's just difficult because it's like the final exams because I'm in the trick at the moment. So it's like the final exams. I need to focus on that as well. Mm. And the rage like the week before it starts. Okay, I think it's game time. Let's see if this cluster is going to make me a cluster. Game oh. over. This is some over. seriously addictive stuff. So simple, but yet just so much fun. I love it. Now, today, a week ago, you launched Cluster, and you've yes. actually had phenomenal success so far. Yes, um, we've had 10,000 plays now. We've crossed the 10,000 plays mark. And yeah, so that's that's pretty, pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. Well, congratulations from myself and the Edge team. Stay rocking. Thanks. <laughs> Game over.